Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Crochet for Baby. Thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this little hat for a baby from six to nine months. It's very easy to make. The stitch that I used to make this little hat is the Alpine stitch, which is the same stitch that I used to make this little hat. This one here is for a baby from zero to three months. Down here in the information box, I'm going to leave you the link to this tutorial. Now, when I uploaded this tutorial, many of you asked me to make it a bit bigger so here it is this one is for a baby from six to nine months but soon I will also make it for a baby from nine to twelve months so stay tuned for that now it's super easy to make so I hope you like it and without further say let's get started and thank you for watching okay to begin I'll be using this five millimeter crochet hook and today I'm using this medium number four yarn I'm using this brand yarn B soft and slick this is a medium number four yarn I'm going to use this ivory color to make the brim and then the rest of the hat I'm going to use a light pink color okay so here to begin I have six chains on the second chain from the hook I'm going to go in and make a single crochet single crochet into the next chain single crochet into the next that's three single crochet into the next chain that's four and single crochet into the last chain that's five single crochets now we're going to turn chain one and we're going to repeat the same thing but we're only going to go through the back loop of each one of the single crochets like this one there's your first one into the next one that's two into the next three into the next four and into the next five single crochets turn chain one make sure to turn and then make your chain now here repeat the same thing into the back loop of your first single crochet make a single crochet into the next single crochet and so on now if you want to make your brim wider you can add more chains this is going to be a baby hat so I like to keep keep my brims um, not too wide so now continue like this until you have 52 rows I have mine ready this is 52 rows and it's measuring about 17 inches which is about 43 centimeters one thing make sure that when you have your rim ready you stretch it and then you measure it this is because this type of brim is super stretchy another thing if you want to make this hat for any size for any age you can the only thing is make sure that the rows that we do here is in multiples of two so now here what we're going to do is I'm going to join both ends here I'm going to insert my hook into this first stitch and I'm going to grab this loop I forgot to tell you that down here in the information box I'm going to leave you standard measurements so that you can make this hat for any size any age it's very easy so just make sure you make your brim keep it in multiples of two stretch it and then measure it okay so here chain one and into the same stitch here we're going to go in and through the first single crochet back here grab a loop and make a slip stitch into the next stitch go in and into the second single crochet back here go in grab a loop and make a slip stitch this is how I'm going to join both ends so continue like this and I'll meet you back once this part here is done to show you what we need to do next okay finished joining both ends here now here I just cut my yarn and then pass my yarn through that last loop and this part here is done now what we're going to do is we're going to make half double crochets on each one of the rows that we did so that we end with 52 half double crochets so beginning here to the side this is the first row so insert your hook right there grab this loop with this new color chain one and into this very same stitch here go back in and make your first half double crochet now go into the next row right here make a half double crochet into the next row a half double crochet into the next row half double crochet this is how I'm going to continue all around I will meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next 
Okay, I'm here at the end of this row of half double crochets and I have a total of 52 half double crochets, which is the same number of rows that we had. Now here to finish, we're going to go to the top of the first stitch right here and join with a slip stitch. And this is how we finish this row. Now for the next row, we're going to chain two and in this row, we're going to alternate between a front post double crochet and a normal double crochet front post double crochet, normal double crochet. So let me show you. This first half double crochet that's here, we're going to work a front post double crochet. The two chains do not count as a stitch. Yarn over, on top of the next half double crochet, you're going to make a normal double crochet. Yarn over, into the next half double crochet, work a front post double crochet, on top of the next, make a double crochet. Into the next half double crochet, make a front post double crochet. On top of the next, make a double crochet. Into the next half double crochet, make a front post double crochet. This is how you're going to continue for this row of our pattern stitch. So I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this first row of our pattern stitch here. This row I finished by making one double crochet into this last stitch. Now, to finish, we're going to go to the top of the first stitch right here and join with a slip stitch. And this is how we finish the first row. Now, for the second row, we're going to chain two. In this row, we're going to do the opposite of what we did in the first row. This first stitch that's here is a front post double crochet, so now, on top of this stitch, we're going to work a normal double crochet. Now, this next stitch is a normal double crochet, so in this row, we're going to work these double crochets into front post double crochets. The next stitch is a front post double crochet, so we're going to make a double crochet on top. The next stitch is a double crochet, so we're going to work a front post double crochet. So it's basically the opposite of what you did on the previous row. All the double crochets that we did, we're going to work into front post double crochets and all the front post double crochets that we did on the previous row, you're going to work a double crochet on top. And that's basically it. We're going to repeat these two rows. Okay, so continue like this. I will meet you here at the end to show you again how to begin the next row. Okay, I'm here at the end of this second row. My last stitch here is a front post double crochet. Now to finish, we're going to go to the top of the first stitch here of the second row and join with a slip stitch. And this is how we finish this row and all the rows to follow. Now from here on, you're going to repeat the first row and the second row. In the first row, we chain two. And this first double crochet that's here, we're going to work a front post double crochet into the next stitch, which is a front post double crochet, you're going to go in and make a double crochet. The next stitch, a front post double crochet. On top of the next stitch, a double crochet. Front post double crochet, and then a double crochet. You're just going to alternate between these two stitches and you're going to do the opposite of what you did on the previous row. When you finish this row, you're going to join here to the beginning where we have this front post double crochet right here and join with a slip stitch, chain two, and then look at your first stitch. This is your first stitch here. This one here is a front post double crochet, so in your next row, you're just going to work a double crochet into the same stitch, and then this next double crochet, you're going to work into a front post double crochet, and then continue and finish the row. I'm not exactly sure how many rows I'm going to do, but continue like this, and I'll meet you at the end of this row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this ninth row, so in total I did nine rows. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm not counting this row of half double crochets, and it's measuring. It measures about five inches, which is about 13 centimeters. Now here, we're going to start reducing. I like to start reducing when I have about one and a half to two inches left from the total height. So here we're going to finish this row by going on top of the first stitch, and joining with a slip stitch. Now, 
chain two. In this row, we have to do the double crochet here on top. That's the first stitch. Okay, now into the next stitch, which is this one here, I'm going to work into a front post double crochet. I'm going to take off two stitches and I'm going to keep two stitches on the hook. Yarn over. Now this next stitch is where we would do our double crochet. So we're going to work our double crochet, but I'm also going to close the front post double crochet like this. Again, so yarn over, a front post double crochet, take two loops off, don't close your front post double crochet, leave two stitches or leave two loops, yarn over on top of the next stitch, grab a loop, take two loops off, three loops on the hook, close. And here's our stitch reduction again. Yarn over, front post double crochet, leave two loops, yarn over, double crochet on top of the next stitch, take two loops off, three loops, close. This is how we're going to work this row, like this, okay? Continue like this and I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this first row of reduction here. This last stitch here was a double crochet, so I worked a front post double crochet here at the end. Now, to finish, we're going to go to the top of the first stitch here and join with a slip stitch. Now, I have a total of 27 stitches. If you have one or two stitches less or more, it's okay. Remember, the two chains do not count as a double crochet. Now, for the next row, we're going to chain two. Here, we're going to repeat the same thing. This first stitch that's here, we're going to work into a front post, double crochet, don't close it, leave two loops, yarn over, go on top of the next stitch right here and take two loops off, three loops on the hook, close. Now from here on, these stitches here have two um, stitches. We have the front post double crochet and the normal double crochet. So here we're going to go back into this stitch, the first stitch here where we did this last stitch and this double crochet we're going to work into a front post double crochet, leave two loops, yarn over, go on top of the next stitch, take two loops off, three loops on the hook, close. In this row, we're really not making any stitch reductions, we're just repeating the same thing we did on the, sec on the first row reductions. Now again, yarn over, work a front post double crochet, take two loops off, two loops on the hook, yarn over, go on top of the next stitch, take two loops off, three loops on the hook, close. One more time, yarn over, this same stitch where we did the double crochet, work into a front post double crochet, leave two loops, yarn over, go on top of the next stitch, take two loops off, three loops on the hook, close. Continue like this and I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this second row of reductions and I have a total of 26 stitches. If you have one or two stitches less or more, it's okay. Just join here to the top with a slip stitch and this is how we finish this row. Now for the next row, chain two, yarn over and into this first stitch here where we did the slip stitch, take two loops off, yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, take two loops off, three loops in the hook, close. Again, yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, take two loops off, yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, take two loops off, three loops in the hook, close. Again, yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, take two loops off, yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, take two loops off, three loops on the hook, close. This is how we're going to work this row, so I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this last row now. I have a total of 13 stitches. If you have less or more, it's okay. Here we're just going to close the top, so join with a slip stitch and finish this row. Now, I've already cut my yarn. I'm just going to pull this loop and I'm going to tie a knot here. Then I'm going to turn this over. This is what it looks like from the inside. And here we're just going to weave this yarn around the top. Okay, so we're going to go into the first stitch, skip one, go into the next, skip one, go into the next, all around. OK, 
Okay, so here we're just going to pull and that hole now is closed like that. Now with this loop, I like to just tie a knot here. And this part here is done. That's what it looks like from the top. And our baby hat is done. There it is. Now I'm going to go ahead and add a pump on, so I'll come back and show you what that looks like. Okay, so here's my finished hat. This is what it looks like with a little pump on. Here, this is all the yarn I had left in this pink color, so I decided to add it to the pump on. So there it is. I used exactly 72 grams of yarn, including the pump on. In another tutorial, I'm going to try to make the 9 to 12 months uh, little hat, so stay tuned for that as well. Okay, so this has been today's tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.